good morning everybody in the previous class we were studying about the economic activities we have three type of economic activities primary activities secondary activity and tertiary activity in that we had studied the primary activity consists of forestry agriculture husbandry animal husbandry fishing farming secondary activity consists of manufacturing and third the tertiary activity consists of trade transport communication banking services education tourism etc etc we are also studied about the quality of population how education is an input for human beings because it provides new aspirations development values for life increases the efficiency of governance we had used found about the policies that has been introduced by government that is sarv shiksha abhiyan then we have the navodya vidyalayas established in each and every districts now as we have dealt about education health is also one of the important aspects of development and for people the health of a person helps him to realize his potential potential and provides the ability to fight illness now as says the health is helps the person to realize his potential and provides the ability to fight illness once a person is ill frequently getting ill he is not able to do work but a person who is fit he can do more work and find out about his skills and potentials health improvement in health in the health status of the population of the population has been the priority priority of the country of the country why because as people are going to improve their health their life expectancy increases and can serve the country for more years our national policy aims at now what are the main points for our national policy so it says at in proving 
the accessibility of health care health care family welfare and nutritional nutritional services and a special and a special focus on the under privilege privileged segment segment of the population so those who are poor who are not able to get proper treatment so government has established lot of civil hospitals for the treatment of poor who cannot go to high fi hospitals now increase increase in longevity longevity of life is an indicator of the good quality quality of life marked by self confidence self confidence like a person who is going to live for more years in olden times when there were like when you can see the kings and queens the life expectancy was near about 30 to 35 years simple reason we can say that ki every time when the kings were at war they used to hire young men and send them to f- for fighting the wars and they would die but now this thing has been stopped there are no kings and queens there is no wars so the people come out here or means people of our country or any other country have more years to live and as they live for more years they can do work for many more years and earn their living and make their life good if they are healthy as the government has already said that at the age of 60 the person should get retired but as only for the services but for like businesses business there are many people who have grown more than 70 the age may be 60 70s but still they are working and there's only one field that is indian that is politics where people can work after the 60s also there is no age of retirement in politics reduction in infant mortality rate mortality rate involves in walls the 
protection of children from infection ensuring nutrition ensuring nutrition along with mother and child care like we can say that the government takes very good care for children now they are providing injections every 2 to 3 months one in injection has to be taken at the time of birth for the protection of child and mother as for the health concern as in whole of india the throughout india there are only 381 there are many colleges in our country which provide facilities for people to become doctors so we have a lot of medical colleges and dental colleges where we have been where we study and every year we have near about 20000 students or 20000 doctors but we have less number of hospitals to provide services no doubt government is making a lot of efforts to provide hospitals so hospitals should be multi faceted with spot lessly spot lessly clean maintenance maintenance like when we talk about civil hospitals and if you have gone to civil hospital you can see how untidy they are the buildings are not been painted it's stinky smelling medicines everywhere and not clean it takes too much time for a person to get a treatment so as the population keeps on increasing we should have many more hospitals no doubt other than this we are talking about government hospitals other than this we have lot of private hospitals but when you are talking about when you are studying we are studying about only the facilities that are being provided by government apart from emergency emergency wards and ambulance ambulance some beds should be free for ad meeting poor patients says so there should be a 
proper power backup because a lot of hospitals do not have power backup should be there to carry on minute and minute sorry minute and complicated surgeries surgeries with ease means it should be carried out easily without any difficulty when there is surgery and again suddenly the power goes off so there is no backup hospitals should process possess possess the latest latest techniques techniques of medical help so government is providing lot of things for its development